Hi is everyone and welcome back to another Bork No Game video. Today's video is dedicated to Cookie Run Kingdom, a made by South Korean developers based in Seoul, known for making the popular Cookie Run series that started back in 2009. Now, some of you are probably wondering, this isn't an anime-based gacha, why are you trying this game out? And a lot of you guys requested for me to try out this game, and I was like, you know, why? What's what's so special about this? You know, one of the first things that obviously sticks out is the art and the overall design of the game, because it's not anime-based. That's what I'm generally used to playing. That's what my audience usually likes to play. And when I was playing this game, I was like, okay, I don't get an anime feeling to it but i definitely get the rpg sense that most gotchas pretty much thrive in and i can see why people like this one of the things that obviously stands out is the overall design the actual like ui and like the visuals right the visuals to me is probably the most important thing and what makes it interesting is that i like it now obviously it has like your cookie waifus in some ways you could call them that but honestly, they're just cookies. They're gingerbread cookies. Shout outs to Shrek. Why is this game even being covered in my channel if it's not anime based? Is it because it's just a gotcha game? Well, the reason why we're actually covering it is because it's good. Now, some of you are like, how is this good? How is this any different from any other casual game that's come out? And that's the thing that we just said. It's a casual game that is technically what most people expect out of a phone game. So where this area or where this game pretty much shines is the fact that it is a casual gotcha game. There isn't actually that many casual gotcha games that's non-anime based. You could say there's an oversaturation of anime based gotcha games. The gotcha industry is pretty much successful based off of the anime industry. Now this helps shake up like the actual structure. It helps you see like a different side of gotchas. And no, by no means is not, this isn't westernized because like I said earlier, this is made by a South Korean developer studio. A lot of the times gotchas get very complicated. This one does have some complicated systems. There's like toppings that you can put on. There's like different character synergies. It's actually very similar to Princess Connect in the gameplay somewhat, except this one has a much crisper feeling. Like when you touch this, for example, the gingerbread uh, attack that I just did, Gingerbrave, it felt good. Like it felt like it belonged on a phone. Granted, I'm playing this on Bluestacks. It's like it hits, it's substantial. And that's something that most phone games, they don't know how to properly execute. Dev Sisters people, the actual developers, they've been making phone games since 09. And this one just feels good to play, you know? It's weird to say that because you're like, feels good to play, what does that even mean? It It's exactly what it means. It's fun to play it when you actually play on a phone. Look at this. Look at how cute this sugar gnome is. That's like one of my favorite parts about this is how cute, how simple, how easy to love this game is. Like the art style is it's easy to see. Like it has like those really long strokes. It's just one of those things where it's just like, oh, well, what about like more detail, more, more waifu, more, more of like the things that I'm used to. Well, I don't think this is targeted towards people who are used to like the anime based gotcha. I think this is targeted towards people who like Candy Crush, people who want something that's like Angry Birds, except it has like a little bit of a different twist. You get to think a little bit more because this is a kingdom builder in some case. And then the RPG gotcha aspects just take it up to another notch, right? It's only building on top of things that knows that it works. It's not trying to take away anything and trying to simplify the gameplay so there is about as much depth as you want in cookie run kingdom but also as shallow as you want it to be because you can take this game completely casually not re-roll like not go for crazy meta stuff and just enjoy building a kingdom and just go about your time like that right you can time skills if you want to to get more enjoyment out of the game or you can leave it on auto it doesn't really matter why i like this though is because there's too many gotchas that sort of take themselves seriously they're focused like highly on meta and they want you to maximize like stats and gains this one's just sort of silly like i like this the overall feeling of it like we're fighting like cookies and cakes there's like frosting and like everyone wants like this soul jelly and it's just funny i like how simple and clean it is because 
there is just way too much seriousness in the gacha community there in some ways there's politics in the gacha community because dude, this would be like a blasphemous sin to like in some ways it's funny that I even say that because in some ways the gacha community has a certain standard a certain appeal where it's like if it doesn't meet these criteria it's technically no good but to me i'm just like if it's fun to play it's fun to play all right probably not everyone's like aesthetic flavor might not hit you the right way one of my favorite parts of you know cookie run kingdom is like like this actual the silliness of it right look at like the sugar gnome he's melting because of like his emotions when he gets like too emotional he starts to melt and because he's like getting hot i just thought it was silly and it's very rare for gotchas to make me laugh just based off of the art style like you could almost not read it and you could just like just go based off of complete visuals like look at that like <laughs> like that was so random like the little smiley face that she did there as a witch like it's like these small subtle things where it's just like oh this is very charming oh this is very easy to like just get into and just fall in love with and i think that's the charm that some gotchas are missing where it's like, oh, like, is it likable? Or is it just because, like, I'm here for one sole purpose and that's to roll the best heroes and to be, like, the most meta or to collect, like, the cutest and most number one, like, waifus and stuff, right? Like, this one is just, like, I'm a wholesome cookie game. I have some gotcha stuff in it. But at the same time, you don't have to take it seriously whatsoever. I am going to do a reroll for this. I'll leave coupon codes down in the description if you guys want them. I think, like, one of the ones is Kingdom, we love you, right? That, that's one of the codes and i like this game also because it has like it's like a five minute reroll process so that's pretty rare to see nowadays so we can just reroll right there we claimed our gems so let's just go ahead and go into the multis thank you thank you we're just gonna skip the animations like or the first animation and then after this you like get cookies and stuff we got another set of the clover cookie nice i'll leave tier list down in the description i'm not really going to like cover them too strictly because i think this isn't a game where you're just like you focus on on in the tier list because if you do that you're gonna like really stress yourself out i think this is a game that you just treat casually you log in there are like a couple of micro transactions with this game but you don't have to worry about that whatsoever just enjoy the cookies enjoy how casual it is and how, how cute it is most of all i think that's what's missing with gotcha lately is like just cute bubbly things where you can just generally appreciate them a lot of times we just get too serious we end up almost like forgetting why we're even playing the gotcha we play gotchas just to unwind and get like you know forget about the world forget about what's occurring like outside and just enjoy ourselves like having fun because that's what the most important part about any gotcha is is it fun this one's definitely fun i love the cookies that you can collect i love everything about you. having a set kingdom where it's just like yeah we're gonna build like the best gingerbread kingdom or the best candy kingdom in the entire like realm and we're just gonna have fun like being with these silly characters right it's something that i miss in gacha games where i just get to be silly and just get to meme on everyone like this this game in some ways is like just like a walking meme uh, i wish these like sugar gnomes could be playable characters anyways let's go ahead this is how you reroll yeah if you wanted to you go to info delete account i'm still re-rolling but at the same time i'm just gonna like probably play this game on the side and then eventually if i get bored of it then you know i'll remove it or if i continue to play it i'll continue to play it but i am so happy that you guys asked me to pretty much do a first impressions on this game because it is enjoyable and i do like it there are some load time issues here and there but at the same time it's alleviated with the fact that i get to unwind and enjoy cookies and just sort of enjoy myself in like the moment that i have with the cookies here in cookie run kingdom Anyways, if you made it this far into the video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment. Once we hit 12,500 subs, we'll be doing a giveaway. I appreciate you being here. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next one.